Is Dune Messiah Denis Villeneuve's next film? We have heard uh, rumblings. Uh, yeah. Let's get some commentary on it. I am excited. I think it might be too soon. Originally, I had heard he wanted to ma- wait 10 years to make Dune Messiah, Dune 3, because in the books, there's like a 12-year time jump. I right? heard him say he had five movies to do, and he had to do one of them, and then he would do Messiah. So he's like, I thought he was going to do a movie in between. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't, same here. I don't think this is set in stone, actually. So um, I I think... Uh, you know who knows what'll be going on with it. I I like the idea of waiting for Timothy Chalamet to age to kind of um get less twinkish, I guess. <laughs> How old is he? He's probably Growing one of those that, that doesn't age. age. Yeah. No, right, age. right, right. Because right even Robert Pattinson's almost 40, he still looks super young. Yeah. Like he might just look young like this. Tom or Holland like Ralph too. Macchio, he still looks Ralph Macchio, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's probably but, like around 30 years old, man. Yeah. yeah. But I like the idea of waiting a decade, then making the third movie. It makes sense. Everyone would be older. Um, it, it's it's like that's how it is in the book. It's like a twelve year time jump. Uh, thoughts and opinions about this, and it's opening supposed to open in December twenty 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 six, the same day as whatever the new Star Wars movie is, the the Ray movie. That's <laughs> X, we'll see. So, going well, I guess it. the question is: Is it gonna still? Is Dune still gonna have the same level of hype and in, in you know interest? You know, if you wait too long right you know or you know or i i don't know like can you build up or or can you like go in reverse with hype like right now dune's a hot property people like dune part two so it's like all right are we gonna hit this right now are we gonna wait and then run the risk of people not being as interested in dune if we do this let's say five six seven years away you know i guess that's the question you know that one of us is probably running through What's that going to look like in 10 years? Someone just said money. I was like, just realized what's going to look like in 10 years with AI where people could just type it into an AI generator and have most of it yeah. done. Well, your guys are yeah. forgetting the most important aspect of the variable variables, which is that um, who, who's to say that Timothy Chalamet might be even alive in 10 years. You understand right. young actors of this body and type accidents can happen. Freak things can occur. I mean, Anton Yelchin was a huge rising star and the mm. poor guy died yeah. tragically trapped you, you by his car <laughs> while checking the mail yeah. not link <laughs> later okay you're not jardawaski who thankfully never got to make doom because that would have been a trite Heath ledger yeah mm-hmm. Heath Heath ledger. ledger was yeah was very complicated well, yes to your point exactly like you you're expecting actors to be alive in 10 years when there is actually a kind of a, a very small but significant enough percentage that either they retire they don't want to come back or they tragically move on well <laughs> if they're doing point. it right now if they're moving forward uh, as you said i mean he he might be in a really good place with the script i can't see denis Villeneuve moving forward if he wasn't absolutely sure in the script if it was not where he wanted it to be so i think um uh, but i think he's close and maybe it's just close enough to where they just wanted to hold the date and see if he could make it then um but also too with the timeline well maybe it is a good idea to recast i definitely think you should and particularly mm-hmm. zendaya mm. yes yes yeah. i like mm-hmm. timothy i w- <laughs> thought i would shit on him for being twinkie and all that things but he's got some gravitas to him. he can act yeah i wish he was bigger and b- buffer and all that but he pulls off being a leader and having intimidation i buy his fight with austin i'd love to see him but in the emperor but yeah maybe three or four years maybe a little bit a little they wait. still have they still have the show about the, any uh, different though they still have the show would. about the witches coming out right yeah oh and yeah doom prophecy yeah, so oh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I think they could probably wait maybe five years before they start in a Jesuit prequel. I, yeah. I'm not yeah. super excited about that. It's, it's uh, not Denis Villeneuve. He's not involved in it, and it just feels like even the trailer just feels so small. And I feel like we already got a very Bene Gesserit focused adaptation of Dune, and it just feels like I don't think there's the real demand for a Bene Gesserit prequel thing, and. I don't know. It just seems kind of an obscure thing. We'll have to see. Hopefully the story can be good. It's loosely based off of Frank, Frank Herbert's son, his novel, uh, Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson novel, which are not very beloved within the fandom itself. And I personally am not a fan of the writing in comparison to Frank Herbert. It's just no contest. So, but it, they're just loosely following it. If they can approve upon it and make it an interesting story, hopefully we'll get more about guild navigators and, 
um, mentats yeah. and things that weren't focused on. But I don't have a whole lot of hope. But I I don't know. They they said it's an event film. It's legendary Warner Brothers, Denis Villeneuve event film. So I think it's very, I think it's no question that it's for Dune Messiah that they're holding it. Um, but yeah, ultimately, if Denis Villeneuve decides that he's not ready, if it's not, because they still got to get in touch with the actors, which are now returning with higher salaries. I'm sure the budget is going to be a very big concern moving forward. Witches are so popular right now. You better capitalize on the popularity <laughs> yeah, right? of witches. Face witches at that. <laughs> yes. Exactly. All right. Well, we shall see. It's it's not officially announced. I think everyone assumed. But I do think that um, Dune's fandom, such as it is, uh, spans a long time. I mean, the book was 65. The first film adaptation was 19 years later in 84. Then the, the sci-fi miniseries. So who knows? And this so diverts, such a major change in Dune Part 2 that affects Dune Messiah. I mean, a lot of changes. I don't know what Dune Messiah will be. I don't know if it'll be like the, the sci-fi series where they combine children of Dune and Dune Messiah kind of. I, I don't know. So. But uh, obviously, I'll well, go. If, see. You're making if, me worried. If, I don't know. Yeah. I know. I know. If, uh, if Dune Messiah takes place 12 years after, are I mean, does there need to be some filling of the gap between end of Dune two to Dune Messiah? That was or? my complaint, and I got yelled at by book fans. And no, the 12 because I want to see all the things that happened in the 12 years. No, apparently the point is to just pick up 12 years after and uh, Paul. He's Paul, no, my, question, no. my question. My <laughs> question is, my question is, is is this how it happens in the book where Dune Dune two ended? Yeah. There's yeah, 12 years, 12 years well, yeah. Dune Messiah begins by recapping what happened. So it, it's a very interesting way how they do it, the, how they explain all of the, um, you know, the Muad'Dib, the jihad that raged across the universe. But I don't know how they would do that from a cinematic standpoint. So and also Dune Messiah is not a very action heavy piece. It's also in a no. very short span of time when you come it from that perspective. So it actually is probably the most. Uh, adaptable when it comes to the time frame because it's not a huge span of time it's it's very limited to this one story uh, to this one small ish time frame and i think it's it's one of the smallest books too honestly it's kind of like an epilogue to dune and a prologue to children of dune the next novel um so i think it is the most adaptable but it's not the most like cinematic in terms of action and they did say that um the legendary and Denis Villeneuve said that if they can if he can promise us something that's on par with dune part 2 then and yeah, then, yeah, we'll move forward. But Dune Part Two, Dune is not Dune Messiah. It's very much more political intrigue heavy and lesser on the action. So maybe that's why they'll, if they do, and that's what you're saying, Badger, they might incorporate those action scenes of the jihad across the universe because that would be one way to do it. Otherwise, there's just one big action piece at the very end of the Chat story. points out Christopher Walken's <laughs> not getting younger. He, so if you want him in it, because apparently he takes a, part in it you might want to hurry up with that one that does make sense yeah it, it's like um doom messiah is like the first three episodes of season two of house of the dragon like lots of intrigue yeah drama yeah. it's it's a slow burn but um it is like a novella